We believe the original New Testament text is identified on this website, livinggreeknt.org. The text is confirmed by evidence of an underlying numeric structure, a feature that could not have occurred by chance and could not have been contrived by men. To start, there are 260 chapters in the New Testament. 260 is 26 times 10. 26 is the numeric value of the Old Testament word, spelled yud he vav he in Hebrew, that represents the name of the Lord. Jesus is the Lord. In Hebrew thought, 10 is the full manifestation of an idea. 26 times 10, the full manifestation of the revelation of Jesus, is contained in the 260 chapters of the books of the New Testament. Now, in the first 130 chapters, there are 88,760 Greek words. In the last 130 chapters, there are 48,960 Greek words. Total for the 260 chapters, 137,720. This is 40 times 7 times 317. This is 40 times 8 times 153. And this is 40 times 11 times 313. The result seems to be by design, men writing as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. 40 is a number that shows up frequently in the plain text of the Bible. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. There were 40 days from Jesus' death and resurrection to his ascension to heaven. At the time of the flood, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Moses was 40 years in Egypt, 40 years in Midian, and he led the Israelites for 40 years in the wilderness. Moses was 40 days and 40 nights on Mount Sinai receiving the law. The spies were in Canaan for 40 days. David reigned for 40 years over Israel. Solomon reigned for 40 years over Israel. These are a few of the many references in the Bible to 40. They are literal, but they are obviously also symbolic. They indicate a period of testing, something preordained by God. In the Old Testament, the first verse, Genesis 1 1, has seven words in the original Hebrew. And Genesis 1 1 is a key to numeric structure in the Bible. In the New Testament, the first verse, Matthew 1 1, has eight words in the original Greek. And Matthew 1 1 is also a key to the numeric structure. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. In Greek, Biblos Genesios, Jesu Christu, Viu David, Viu Avram. In Greek, as in Hebrew, every letter of the alphabet has a numeric value. Here is the value of each word in Matthew 1 1. Christu, Christ, is value 1680, a number divisible by 40. Viu, the Son, mentioned twice, is 880, a number divisible by 40. The two middle words in the verse, Christu viu, Christ the Son, add up to 2560, which is 40 times 8 times 8. Back to the number of words in the New Testament. 40 must be here by intent. Now this number, 7. Seven shows up frequently in the plain text of the Bible. There were seven days of creation. In the seventh year, Hebrew slaves were set free. There are seven feasts of the Lord, and each of the two main feasts are celebrated for seven days. 
seven priests with seven trumpets went ahead for seven days, and on the final day Israel marched seven times around Jericho before the walls fell down. In the New Testament, in the book of Revelation, there are seven churches and seven spirits before the throne, seven golden lampstands, seven stars being seven angels, seven torches of fire, seven seals, seven horns and seven eyes of the Lamb, seven trumpets, seven thunders. The dragon has seven heads and seven crowns, seven golden bowls, seven plagues. The seven here seems to be by design. This number, eight. There were six days of creation and a seventh day of rest. The eighth day indicates a new beginning. Jewish males are circumcised on the eighth day. Jesus rose from the grave on the eighth day, by Jewish reckoning, the day after the Sabbath. Eight symbolizes new birth, new beginnings, and our attention is drawn to a sequence in the Bible, six, seven, eight. We'll return to this number shortly. This number, 317. 317 is the 66th prime number. There are 66 books in the Bible, Old and New Testament, presenting the complete revelation of God. In the first verse of the New Testament, Matthew 1 1, the second word is Genesius, the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Genesius has a numeric value of 1268, which is 2 times 2 times. 317, and 317 is the 66th prime number. Even if it is not immediately apparent when we see the number 317, something important is being highlighted. This number, 153. 153 is the number of large fish caught by the disciples when they followed Jesus' instructions. The number of fish, 153, is literal and specific, but surely also symbolic. In the eight words in Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, the four middle words are Jesu Christu viu David, Jesus Christ, Son of David. The numeric value of the four words is 3,672, and this number is divisible by 153. Also, the first and last words are Biblos and Avram. 314 plus 145, the combined numeric value is 459, and that is 153 times 3. Now to the total number of words in the Greek text of the New Testament, 137,720, which is expressed as 40 times 11 times 313. To express this in a different form, 40 times 11 times 12 squared plus 13 squared. 12 squared is 12 times 12, which is 144. 13 squared is 13 times 13, which is 169. 144 plus 169 is 313. So here we have another sequence, 11, 12, 13. It's a sequence that shows up in the Bible. There were 12 tribes of Israel and there were 12 apostles in the New Testament. When the tribe of Benjamin was nearly wiped out, the Israelites contrived a way to ensure that all 12 tribes were preserved. When Judas was lost, the remaining 11 apostles had two possible replacements. They didn't take both. 
they cast lots, and only one was chosen. It was apparently important that the number of apostles was exactly twelve. Yet, by a certain count, twelve was temporarily reduced to eleven in the New Testament when Judas was lost, and in the case of Israel, when the tribe of Levi was set apart for the Lord and received no inheritance of land. Yet, by another count, twelve did become thirteen, when the two sons of Joseph, Manasseh and Ephraim, were brought to the fore and each was to be treated as a full son of Jacob. In the New Testament, twelve became thirteen, when the Lord chose Paul to be an apostle as one abnormally born, he said. Eleven, briefly, then twelve tribes and twelve apostles, later thirteen tribes and thirteen apostles, eleven, twelve, thirteen. With that in mind, we examine the prime number 313. A prime number is a whole number that is divisible by itself and by one only. 313 starts a sequence, a sequence that leads to the prime number 373. Why is 373 significant? Jesus is called the Logos, the Word. The numeric value of Logos is 373. The sequence is 313, 353, and 373. And these are the 11th, 12th, and 13th palindromic prime numbers. 11, 12, 13. What is a palindromic prime number? It's a prime number, a number divisible by itself and by one only. And it's also a number that is a palindrome. A palindrome is a number that reads the same forwards and backwards. The sequence 313, 353, and 373 are the 11th, 12th, and 13th palindromic primes. Now it gets really interesting. In mathematics, there is a category of prime numbers known as palindromic wing primes. A palindromic wing prime is a prime number divisible by itself and by one only. It is a palindrome, it reads the same forwards and backwards, and it is a number where all digits except the middle digit are the same. For example, 11,311. The middle digit is unique. The digits on both sides are the same. There aren't many palindromic wing primes. Our example, 11,311, is only the 16th palindromic wing prime. The very first palindromic wing prime is 101. And 101 is the 26th prime number. 26 is the numeric value of the Hebrew word that represents the name of the Lord. 101, the first, and 313, 353, and 373 are the sixth, seventh, and eighth palindromic wing primes. Now we see a tie-in to the first verse of the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In Hebrew, Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz, seven words. There is a middle word and three words on each side of the middle word. Three, one, three. The middle word has two letters. Two is the first prime number. And it is a unique prime number because it is the only prime number that is an even number. The word is untranslatable. In Hebrew grammar, the word et points to the direct object. It is spelled aleph tav. The first and last letters of the Hebrew alphabet. 
Jesus said, He is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha and Omega, the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. There are five middle words with a total of 18 Hebrew letters. 18 in Hebrew thought indicates life, because the Hebrew word chai, meaning life, has a numeric value of 18. There are two words bracketing the five middle words. There are 10 letters in the two words. 10 in Hebrew thought indicates full manifestation. Here, the full manifestation of life, with Jesus, the Aleph Tav, at the center. Every letter of the Hebrew alphabet has a numeric value. The value of these two outer words is 913 and 296 total, 1209. And 1209 is 31 times 3 times 13. 3 1 3 and 3 1 3. The total value of all the words in Genesis 1 1 is 2701, which is 37 times 73. 3 7 7 3. Note, three letters here and seven letters here. Seven letters here and three letters here. 3 7 7 3. Also, in this middle block of 18 letters, three letters and five letters, five letters and three letters, three, five, five, three. These are all palindromes. The value of these two words is 999. The value of these three words is 999. The value of these three words is 888. And the value of these three words is 777. We get the name of Jesus from this word in the Greek of the New Testament, Iesus. The numeric value of Iesus is 888. These numbers are all palindromes. Break the numbers down to their prime numbers. 999 is 37 times 3 times 3 times 3. 888 is 37 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. 777 is 37 times 3 times 7. Each of these breakdowns starts with 37 and 3. 3, 7, 3. As we pointed out before, the New Testament says that Jesus is the word, the Logos. The numeric value of Logos is 373. The total number of Greek words in the original New Testament text is 137,720. And this is 40 times 11 times 313. And 313 starts a sequence of prime numbers. 313, 353, 373. The sequence leads to Jesus, the Word. And the numbers are revealed in the very first verse of the Bible. And that verse points to Jesus, who, the Bible says, is the Creator. And Jesus is the Lord. And Jesus is the Logos. Jesus, the Alpha and the Omega, the Aleph and Tav. Jesus, the first and the last. Jesus, the beginning, the middle, and the end. The New Testament, and indeed the whole Bible, all of Scripture, is all about Jesus.